G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 17th episode in the second season for the FIFA 17 Chelsea Career Mode Series. I am pretty excited to get into the gameplay of today's episode. The three games that we have today are two huge Premier League games against West Ham United and Manchester United. And then the second leg of our Champions League round of 16 against Borussia Dortmund. We did pick up a 1-0 victory on the road at the Signal Aduna Park last time out, so hopefully we can hold on and qualify for the quarters. But lads, if you do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure that you Rabona kick that like button. Freaking scissor kick that subscribe button if you are new around here. We are very, very close to 33,000 subscribers, which is pretty damn cool. So make sure that you do subscribe today if you are new around here. But lads, before we can do any of that, we have to answer your press conference questions, so let's do it now. As always, lads, if you want to have a chance of getting your question answered in the next press conference, don't forget to leave a question down below. It's CJ says, Barber says he was originally a right midfielder before he signed for Chelsea in a recent press conference and wants to play on the right sometime. Will you try it out? That doesn't surprise me that Barber used to be a right midfielder. I'm not sure if he actually did or you were just making that up, but it wouldn't surprise me because when I have played him in left back, he has liked to push up a lot and he has been very, very good on the ball. He scored a few goals. Last episode, I think it was, or the episode before, against Crystal Palace, when he scored that crazy individual goal where he just ran the whole field, slotted it home, that really proved to me that he has a bit of an attacking threat on him. So if the time comes where William and Sisto both can't play, I'll happily give Barba a go. Gibby Foti says, Rumor has it you slept with Thibaut Courtois' wife, leading, leading to his le leading to him leaving. What do you think? Oh God, what a random question. I'll put the rumors to bed. I'm not John Terry. I don't sleep with the wives of my employees. God, man, some of the, some of you guys. Epic Football says, I miss the old goal animation, like if you agree, and Jared, please do. I'm open to suggestions about the goal animations. I have tried a few things. I like to be creative on the channel and try to improve, and a lot of you guys last year, or last season, in the first season, said you didn't like the goal animation going over the whole screen. So I tried to make a little slide one, which you will see for the rest of the season. Um, let me know, because... I want to I wanna satisfy what you guys think is the best, so leave a comment down below on what goal animation you prefer, Season 1 or Season 2, or if you have a different idea for a new goal animation, leave it down below. And the final question in today's press conference comes from Matt Watkins, who says, Would you ever play 3 at the back like Conte does at the moment? I have considered the idea, but the thing is, we have some very, very class left and right back, so... I don't think three at the back is going to work. If we are playing in a game where we need to chase some goals, which might happen in a Champions League second leg situation, then I will consider playing three at the back so we have more attacking prowess. But at the moment, I think the 4 uh, four one two one two formation that we have been playing with is working quite well, so I'm going to keep it like that at the moment. So lads, that will conclude today's press conference. Thank you once again for all the fantastic questions, but now... Let's get into the gameplay, the opening game of today's episode at home against West Ham. So the opening game, as I said in today's episode, we are at home, Stamford Bridge, and we are looking to extend our lead at the top of the Premier League table. Of course, last episode we played Arsenal and Palace in the league. They are two of the top teams this season. We did lose to Arsenal, but we beat Palace. So, taking a look at the table, Spurs have actually moved up into second, but we still have an 11-point lead. So here is our starting 11 for no. Nope. So here is our starting 11 for today's game, and it is a decently strong side. I have to be a little bit tactical because the Champions League game in three days' time is a bit more important than this game, considering we have such a big lead in this tournament. But I still want to get the win here, and this is how Slaven Bill is playing his side today. Adrian in goals, Hector Bellerin's there. They've got a very good side, West Ham. They have bought pretty damn well. Uh, they've got, who do they have on the bench? Mark, Mikel Antonio, Andy Carroll, Mark Noble. It should be a pretty interesting game. 
They're through here, West Ham. Early opportunity. They take the long shot, and that is a terrible attempt. West Ham to continuing to attack. They're looking quite dangerous here. Fagouli's going through. He finesses, and he just missed. Here we go. We're trying to get an attack going here. We need to. We've been very poor offensively in this game. Alonso's going to thread that one through to Michi. I see nine goal, and we need to get a better option. I see Alonso. Marcos Alonso, he scores it. What a goal, Marcos Alonso. Our first real attacking opportunity of the game and it ends up in the back of the net I was gonna pass it earlier but I decided to wait I saw the good follow-up run from Alonso and I'm very very surprised that he managed to score from that angle I thought it was gonna be saved but that's actually a top quality finish well done Alonso look at that that is a world-class strike and that is 1-0 West Ham have the corner here looking to get a quick response and tie this game back up it goes in there, Winston Reid, they miss it completely and will take the goal kick. Marcos Alonso throwing that one to Reginald Golan, he goes to Musonda. We need to get a second goal here to put this game to bed. Goes to Aurier, back to Sisto. Here we go, plays opening up, trying to get it, Nine Golan hits it, oh he just puts it over. Here we go, we've got a little bit of space opening up, Kante threads it to Griezmann, it's a good tackle from Winston Reid, but it's still on here. Pione Sisto, whipping that one, get to it, uh, goes out to Alonso, Alonso, I'm going to bang it, oh, that's a good save from Adrian, here we go, good stuff from Nan Golan, can we get a second goal and put this game to bed, we've been much better in this second half, Laporte goes to Sisto, don't know why the Laporte's so far up, Pione Sisto, into Antoine Griezmann, he threads it in, that is going to be a second goal, and that is going to see us secure all three points here. A little bit of hotline blink from Antoine Griezmann, but we were so much better in this second half. Very good passing. Uh, I thought we stuffed it up, and I'm very surprised we managed to dribble that one into the back of the net. West Ham looking to pick up a consolation goal here. It's Caleri, who's caused us a few problems today. Going to Andre Ayew, that is caught from De Gea, and that should be full-time once we punt that one away. Referee, call it. There it is. That is full time. And I am very, very proud of the lads. A very gutsy win there. First half, West Ham dominated us. Absolutely dominated us. But then we came out in the second half. Whole new ball game. And we won 2-0. So that is, I'm very happy. So after that game against West Ham, Michi Bachiwai has come to us asking if we can have a look at his contract and increase his wages. I am happy to do that. Let's get onto it now. So he wants an extra £35,000 a week. It's a lot of money, but he's been a decent player for us. He's gone up to an 85 rating already, so I'm happy to give him an extra £35,000 a week, and I will increase his role to important first team player. And we do get an extra £114,000 for qualifying into the next round of the FA Cup. That did happen last episode. We will also have our first training session of today's episode. So Traore, Musonda, Christensen, Olaena, and Marcus Jackson all being trained here. Let's see if we can get Jackson up to a 62 rating. Goalkeeper training is so bloody OP, and he does. He goes up to a 62. Olaena also having a very good session. So this game here is the biggest game in today's episode. The Champions League round of 16 second leg. We are at home, Stamford Bridge, and right now we are holding a 1-0 aggregate advantage over Borussia Dortmund. So as long as we stay strong and we perform like we did last time out, we will be moving into the quarters, but we need to do that first. Taking a look at the other games, no real notable results that I could have seen there when I was just scanning, but who knows. I have set out to rock a very, very strong starting 11 for today's game, and it is proven there. We have a strong side in all the fixture congestion that we have coming up, so hopefully we hold on. The main thing is just holding on, because Borussia Dortmund are a very good side. As you see here, they have quite a good side. Marco Royce, Mario Goetz, who else are they starting? We've got Bakambu up front, uh, Rode in centre defence and mid, Osan Dumbele, Socrates. It's going to be a real difficult task. Here we go. Early opportunities. It would be great to pick up another goal here. Hamez going. Immobile. He's going to cut around. Good stuff. He shoots. Saved from Berkey. An early goal would have been so valuable. Just couldn't keep his feet. And now they're through. They've got decent numbers, but they're standing there. They're going straight through. They're passing it around. Dortmund are through. They shoot, and Ginter puts it wide, thankfully. 
in the attack here. Schmelzer passing it around. We can't let them get any clear opportunities. Road going. They're through. They've won two us and they've tied it up. That is exactly what we didn't need. I wanted to hold on to it for a good 60, 70 minutes at least. But the Tiki Hacker has just drawn us out. I took the bait. Very, very poor on my behalf. And they've gone through there with... I shouldn't have gone up and rushed with Benucci. One all on aggregate. Road on the attack. We can't let them score. If they come back, they've been killing us, Dortmund. Goetze puts it wide. Here we go. William. He's sprinting down the line. No real defensive pressure. He's got Socrates on his back, but he's got the pace. We need a striker in the middle. Where is one of our strikers? I see Immobile. It goes in there. Immobile, what a shit header. He does. Now can we hit them on the counter? Fabregas goes to Dybala. In there to Immobile. We're going to pass that one. We're just passing it here. Fabregas, fresh off the bench. Some nice passing play. What a ball. Through to Palo Dybala. Finish it, Dybala. What a save from Berkey. Good stuff, David Luiz. That's why I brought him on in CDM. He's going to play that one out there. We're going up the line to Dybala. He's up against Sven Bender. Dybala's got the pace. He's going to cross it. No, he's not. Ah, far out. That was the opportunity. But now we are heading to extra time. Oh, man. Here we go. Barber going to Immobile. Barber's through. Fresh off the bench. He should have the pace. He does. He's got very good pace here. Barber going to Immobile. He hits it. It's saved. I probably should have taken it a little bit closer. But can we get something off the corner? Going to put it just about there with Fabregas. Go on, Benucci. Oh, go straight back out to Cesc Fabregas. He's going to pass that one to Immobile. Chiro Immobile against his former club. He's through. Zabala hits it. It's blocked. What a crucial block from Ginter. We get the rebound. Barber hits it. It's blocked again. What is going on? We've got the throw in. We're on our last legs. William through to Zabala. Go on, lads. Through. Hits it. Fabregas scores it. Fabregas scores in extra time. We have the lead against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League round of 16. I cannot believe this. It is definitely deserved. But the substitute, Cesc Fabregas, oh my god, has he gotten us through to the quarterfinals? Fantastic stuff. The lads have really picked up their act in this extra time and the second half. I think it might have taken a bit of a deflection. Let's have a look. Did it take a deflection? No, it did not. That is just a world-class finish. Now they're on the attack. Borussia Dortmund. Pizcek up against Branislav Ivanovic. Pizcek's got the legs. He whips that one in there. No! Oh my god. Where? What was our defense doing? Imagine if we got another goal. It's Barba going there. Dybala going back to William. Out to the hero Fabregas. Fabregas is through. He's going to cross it in. No, he's not. Dybala though. Is that? It's play on. Okay, I thought we were going to give away a foul. Fabregas. He's still got it. Cesc Fabregas. Go on. Immobile. Saved. Get the rebound. Fabregas again. No. Oh, shit. Now they're through. No. What a ball. Where is Ivanovic? He's so tired. Socrates. What a poor pass. I thought David Luiz. I thought De Gea just left it. Barber. We're just going to time waste a little bit. We're going to pass it. We're going to shoot and then it should be over. They make the tackle and it's over. We are going into the next round of the Champions League in one of the most intense games of FIFA. I have played this game, this entire FIFA 17. That was crazy. I did not know that. After that first half, I thought we were in big trouble, but we pull it back. A fantastic second half and a fantastic extra time. Shout out to Cesc Fabregas. He was the difference maker. I can say that wholeheartedly. Cesc Fabregas is the reason we won. And the reason why we, why we are through the Champions League bloody quarterfinals. We have been blessed here as for the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We have drawn Crew Alexandria, perhaps the easiest side out of all the teams available. That being said, though, we can't take them too lightly. There is a reason why they have made the quarterfinals, so we need to make sure that we don't stuff it up. See, look at all the other teams. The weakest team compared to Crew Alexandria is probably Hull, so we have definitely been fortunate. So here is the Crew Alexandria starting 11, and in all honesty, I don't know any of these guys. Actually, I lie. 
I know Baka Yogo, I do believe he used to play for Walsall because I had him in my Road to Glory series I did about two years ago with them. Now with our starting 11, it's not the strongest possible side, but it still is a pretty decent side. It is a quarterfinals of the FA Cup, so I'm going to take it somewhat strongly and somewhat seriously, but it is a good opportunity to give a few of our youngsters a good run in the side. Good stuff, Solanke. That's the start we wanted to see. Great hustle. It's going to go through to Bertrand Traore. Traore is just running through, going back. Solanke still has it. He's going there. Traore again. It's the Solanke and Traore show. It goes. Solanke, but that's a poor finish. Going there. Traore. Get there. Get there, Alonso. Good stuff, Alonso. He makes the tackle. He's going to go Bertrand Traore, who goes for the long shot. Good save. They're on the attacky Crew Alexandria up against David Luiz. They get past David Luiz. They take the strike, and they almost got a shock lead. They're going through here. Crew. They whip that one in there low. De Gea saves it in the freaking hell. Crew are giving us a good run for our money. So it's a free kick here for Crew Alexandria just before half time. They're going to put that one into the area. We're going to get it. Get it away, lads. Clear it. Clear it. Clear it, David Luiz. Clear it. De Gea has to make the save. We can't clear it. They get another corner here, and they've really looked a dangerous side crew, Alexandria. They whip that header in. They get the deflection. Goal line clearance from Chalabar. Holy crap. They get it there, and it's another free kick. A free kick here for crew, Alexandria. What is going on? They are absolutely killing us. They jump over, they take the free kick and it's deflected. And it's another corner. Just get us to half time and we can reset our squad already. They whip that one in there. They hit that one over and that's half time. Baker, go on to Fabregas. Come on, Traore. I see Fabregas. We're going to go there. Seth Fabregas hits it. Great save from the keeper. That one was destined for the top left corner. They're going through here, Crew Alexandria. Looking to get a shot goal. I wouldn't say it's undeserved though. Saunders... Up against Louise. Good tackle from David Louise. Go on. Go on again, David Louise. He just can't clear it. They go through. They shoot. And they almost take the lead again. We need to wake up. Alonso. Threading that one through to Pedro. Come on, Pedro. He's getting caught for pace. Hopefully he can outstrength him. It looks like he will. Pedro. I see you. Whips that one in. Pione Sisto. Bringing it down. Going there. Solanke tackled Sisto. Off the crossbar. Far out. Here we go. Come on, we need to get through. It's a ball over the top. Come on, Solanke. Our best opportunity. Oh, he missed. He missed. Get off the field, Solanke. How do you miss that? What is going on with our squad? Come on. Ah, oh, we were on the counter. That is full time, I believe. I don't know if we go to extra time. I hope we do because I can't be asked coming back for a replay. What a crap performance that was. I don't know what happened to us. We just did not perform. It looks as if we are going to extra time. Are we? Here we go. Alonso. He's almost out of stamina. A lot of our players are very low on stamina. Barba's not though. He's going to run up the wing. Come on. Barba. Show me why he deserves to play as a right midfielder. He hits it. It's saved. Loft his cheek. What a challenge from the defender. We just can't find the back of the net. And David Luiz can't find his hair. Good stuff from Sisto. Here we go. We need to get a goal. I can't be asked with it going to penalties. Treore, back there. Loftus cheek. He hits the post. We cannot score. Why is this happening? Good stuff, Baker. Here we go, lads. We need a freaking goal. Treore, going through to Pione Sisto. Back to Treore. He's going to Solanke. Overlap with Loftus cheek. Ah, oh, it's saved by the keeper. Too much on it. If they got the other end to score. It doesn't look like it, but we're going to be heading to a bloody penalty shootout. A nil-all draw against Crew Alexandria. We could have won that about 12 nil, but nobody could score. These bloody forwards couldn't score a bloody root in a brothel. They get the first penalty opportunity. We need David Haye to step up clutch in this shootout. If we lose to Crew Alexandria, it's going to be a great story, but crap for us. He chips it down the middle. How about the nerve on that blow? Far out. Baker to step up now. I suck at penalties, but here we go. Baker, I'm going to go top left. He shoots and they save it. We haven't scored a goal all game. Come on. I reckon this guy's going to go left. He freaking finds the side of the net. This has not gotten off to a good start. David Louise, please, son. 
finish it. David Luiz. I just CBA. What has happened? This guy's going to hit it over. He has no stamina. It's saved from De Gea. We needed that. We need to score this next goal. Otherwise, we are in big trouble. Solanke, he's going to go left. What the hell? I wanted to go left, but that worked out better for us. Now, David, uh, freaking David De Gea, you need to save this one. This guy's going to go right. He goes left, and he scores it. I don't think we can afford to miss another penalty. If we do, it's all over. Pione Sisto. What is with the penalties? I was aiming to the right, and it goes straight down the middle. And we have been knocked out of the FA Cup from Crew Alexandria. This is bullcrap. My camera is running out. Hold up. Lads, I honestly cannot believe what I have just witnessed. That might be the most handicapped game of FIFA I have ever played. Granted, my finishing was not on par today, but I don't understand what just happened. That just did not feel natural. What the actual F. I'm actually so gutted after that performance. What the hell did we just do? Granted, it's great for Crew Alexandria, it's a bit of a fairy tale story, but why? What happened in that game? I I don't I have so many unanswered questions. So our FA Cup run is over, but our Champions League run is still well alive and kicking. That is where we are going to wrap up the episode. I'm honestly too gutted to play another game. But if you enjoyed today's episode of the Chelsea Career Mode series, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Check out my social media links, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. All three of those will be down below as per normal. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Sad peace. Oh.